If you drive half an hour southwest from Stonehill College, you will find yourself in Attleboro, Massachusetts. Originally known as the jewelry capital of the world, Attleboro is now mostly known for boasting one of Massachusetts's hidden gems. This is Capron Park. Located in the heart of the city, the park is a common site for summer concerts, picnics, fairs, and general activity. It is also connected to the Capron Park Zoo and Attleboro High School, making it prime real estate for a site of commemoration. And indeed, within this hidden gem of Capron Park resides another. In addition to the park, Attleboro, Massachusetts is also known for possessing a piece of one of the twin towers that fell on the 11th of September 2001. The piece is displayed in the Veterans Memorial Triangle and is among inscriptions dedicated to Attleboro and North Attleboro residents who died in wars ranging from Korea to Afghanistan. The 9-11 Memorial itself is actually called the Prisoner of War Missing in Action 9-11 Memorial, suggesting a connection between the events of 9-11 and the subsequent involvement in the Middle East. That is to say, this is not exclusively a 9-11 memorial, but a reminder of nationalism and war efforts that sought to reaffirm the ideals connected to it. The building fragment lies, stuck in the ground at an angle, as if it had fallen into its placement the day the buildings fell or as if it had fallen right out of the sky. It is rusted, it is indistinguishable, yet it is the center of everything. Surrounding the memorial are countless American flags and reminders of both the war effort and nationalism. Along the side of the space is a dedication to the Prisoner of War Missing in Action 9-11 memorial that describes the countrywide effort that went into the creation of the materials that built the tower, meaning the attack was not just on New York, but the country itself, expanding the space we consider to be ground zero. Unlike many sites of commemoration, the dedication also describes how one should interact with the space, saying, reflect upon the suffering and sacrifice of those memorialized here and take pride in being a citizen of the USA, the greatest nation the world has known. behind commemoration is the idea of nation building, saying memorials provide the victors' regimes with a mechanism of imagining a new nation through the past they decimate. The memorial in Attleboro is just one example of the similar pattern found in sites of memory being that they are less individualistic than they may lead on and more connected to one larger narrative, founded in constructing and reconstructing, if necessary, national image, hence the need to include prisoner of war missing in action in the title of the memorial. What does this all mean? Well, Aaron Hess and Art Herbig note that memorials provide vital places for self-reflection on past events and present concerns, especially one's own place in relation to the memorialized event or persons. So by justifying 9-11 as not just an attack on New York, but the country as a whole, the personal engagement with the memorial becomes all that more important because it's not just a New York thing. It's not an Attleboro thing. It's not a you thing. This is an America thing. So with that in mind, the placement of the Prisoner of War 9-11 memorial in Attleboro in sort of the center of um, commerce in the center of education, it perhaps, while cynical, gives some legitimacy to James Young's claim that memory is never shaped in a vacuum and that the motives of memory are never pure.